Hey, what's up family? Welcome back to God's Development Plan. It's your girl Lolita. And you guys, I just want to welcome you to a very special segment that I'm excited to be starting, which is called A Moment in motherhood you guys mm, nobody but jesus gave me this idea and it was inspired off of this lovely lovely woman named mrs Brittany sampson you guys she is going to be sharing a moment in motherhood along her journey with us on today and she's going to be reflecting on some things as the Lord has led her, how he has encouraged her, kept her, inspired her, etc., in her own personal journey of motherhood. And I know that it's going to bless you. Amen. Because when I was reading what she originally posted on her own social media, I felt blessed by it. And I knew right away, I was like, okay, God, you want me to do something with this. Amen. I need to connect with sis so that we can inspire some other women. Right. Amen. Because I just knew that this testimony of hers was going to bless somebody. So I am very grateful to her that she was willing to come and collaborate here with us over at God's Development Plan here on YouTube to share her testimony and her moment in motherhood with us today you guys make sure you show mrs sampson honey some love in the comments don't forget to hit like that's the thumbs up and subscribe it makes a difference but that's enough of me talking let's go ahead and listen in to britney's moment in motherhood enjoy after 18 months of breastfeeding the journey has come to an end Breastfeeding was always something that I wanted to do whenever I had children. Initially, I was nervous. Nervous that I wouldn't be able to adequately produce or that she wouldn't latch properly. Nervous that immediately after delivery, I would have to start my MS treatment again, which would have meant no breastfeeding because of the drugs. When I was first diagnosed, they made it clear that breastfeeding would likely be off of the table. I asked God for one year and he gave me a year and a half. My expectations were exceeded, but that's what he does. Breastfeeding is a commitment. It means sleep deprivation. It means feeling drained at times. It means feeling frustrated because you just want your body to yourself. It means feeling touched out some days. It means strategically choosing outfits based on how easily accessible they are. It means engorgement and occasional leaky accidents. It means staying on track with your pump schedule when away from home. It means being mindful of everything you eat and drink and the amount that you eat and drink. And it also means dealing with tantrums when you don't whip it out fast enough. I had to learn to be gentle with myself during the moments of exhaustion and understanding that different feelings can exist. I could be frustrated but still be grateful that I was providing her with the nutrients that my body was cultivating specifically for her. I could be worn out, but still look forward to our moments together. The breastfeeding experience reaffirmed my strength. It reminded me of my traits of determination, discipline, dedication, drive, and follow through. It taught me true sacrifice and selflessness. Most importantly, it proved God's faithfulness once again. How blessed am I to have experienced such an intense bond with my daughter, one that no one on this earth would be able to recreate with her. How blessed am I that she trusted me as her mother to provide her with what she needed to thrive. I am forever grateful. I can't lie, I miss it sometimes, but I am excited to be free. We did it, baby Ray. We did it. God has a plan. For both you and me, but there are levels to reach before eternity. We must prepare as we share our testimony. Our lives are God's development plan. Yeah. 
God's development plan.